Okay, a lot of noticeable things come to mind when thinking about this anime. First is, wow, does it move fast. Toya wanted to get the early volumes out of the way. There's some good and some bad about this adaptation, but as far as pacing goes, while it's smart to rush because the beginning was just kind of boring setup in the manga, it still goes by about 25% too fast. So you don't spend enough time with the characters and their situation, which can lead to you caring a bit less about them and what happens to them later. Another big noticeable thing is the animation. Oh boy. Before that, the art. Itself is very colorful and bright. The mix of manga style and anime style looks okay. I would rather they not toyify everything Saint Seiya related, but what can you do? Aside from bad coloring design, it looks fine. The goat cloth design, while it's nice to see them in good quality, they must have thought they were working on Saint Seiya Episode G Assassin, because the sparkling coming off these things is up to 11. And like the early second episode, Athena had a bit of a avatar penis head thing going on. Tell me if you caught that too, though it might just be immature. The opening in these songs are nice, but even there you can see the cheapness. They really should have scrapped that one frame Pegasus thing. The music is okay, but nothing special. But now directly on the animation itself, one word, budget. They are using all the tricks in the anime book here. Still frames, lack of frames, repeated clips, just limited everything. Personally, I think all the money went to Broly. <laughs> to be fair, that character alone probably brings in half the money in like all the Saint Seiya franchise. There is some good here. One of the biggest complaints I gave the manga was bad action. A anime I thought could help that. It does and it doesn't. The good, the added color and flashy elements really helps bring the attacks to life. The bad, they don't have enough money to show cloth damage or terrain damage, like in the manga unfortunately. Now I'm not a big fan of reading subs, so take my opinion with a grain of salt. But overall, the voice acting is not bad. However, some of what sounds like older voice actors just don't have it anymore. And honestly, that high pitch anime girl Yay! type noises really got on my dang nerves after a while. All that being said, the anime started out at best okay, but I do hope the animation and pacing improves in time and that it sticks more to the manga. Mm -hmm.